things have progressed with the pandemic, it's been really about inspiring our students and their own creativity. Because, you know, initially it was like we were going to do smaller projects in the building that kids could watch, mm -hmm. but then being able to do these huge projects that everyone can kind of watch progress even during the shutdown. This piece has brought so much joy already. Just from our families driving by and seeing pictures on social media, we know that when students are out here on our field playing, um, with this as their backdrop, that it's going to be cherished for many years. <laughs> it brings me so much joy. I actually have to drive around the school to get to my parking space and I drive really, really slowly and just stare at it um, every morning and it just makes me smile. I think I've shared the pictures hundreds of times. Um, it's just been extraordinary and such a gift. I'm Eric Harbling. I'm a painter and designer that lives in Miami, Florida, and I'm about to start one of my biggest projects yet, painting the elementary school in Fort Lauderdale. This project has kind of come together really quick, and there's still a few more moving pieces to get everything set. Even though I've painted tons of murals before, right before I get started, I just get like super anxious <laughs> and have, uh, I don't know, way too much nervous energy, so I gotta pick up the paint, get all the equipment kind of understood and together, and then I can finally get in there and get started. Like, I don't think I can be more excited. This is gonna be such an awesome and fun project. Hopefully we'll be in the groove painting, you know, as soon as I possibly can. Made it to the Smog Armor headquarters, gonna pick up the paint now. This company is really awesome. Their paint purifies the air, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna sell you on things that I don't really know enough about. So here, check out the owners, they're gonna tell you all about it. Our paint is helping end air pollution, and our paint has a really special mineral in it that what it does is when the paint dries, it attracts air pollution, pollutants, airborne chemicals, and actually attracts it and absorbs it all, and will not release it unless your walls are on fire. So. All right, made it to the school. Still feeling a little anxious. Once, the, once I figure out the lift and every, get everything over to the wall, then I'll be able to calm down and map it all out. Getting the lift through there was not too easy. All right, but since that lift is not good for the outside or off-road, I gotta build this little track. Hopefully it's gonna work. A uh, little skeptical, but it's the last step and then we'll be all good to go. So that bridge did not work. Uh, can at least stay productive, start putting tape on the bottom half, see how much I can sketch with the ladder. Got my buddy Jake here helping me out, so I think we should get some good progress even with that little setback. We are still able to reach just enough that we could kind of make some good progress. Decided to go section by section, making a tape grid and then taking a picture. So started in the very middle, then um, tossed it over to my iPad, got the sketch overlaid on top of it, made a little bit transparent, put it back on my phone and just went up the ladder and just got as much possibly done as I could without having a lift. Probably a good time to start. What do you think, dude? Yeah, bro. Good we're day. We're calling it? Hell yeah. Alright. It's actually ahead of where I wanted to be. Tomorrow we'll have hopefully a better lift. And uh, no rain. Back for day two. I'm pretty happy where I got yesterday uh, with Jake here and making do with the issues that we had. I think we got really far. So I'm gonna keep adding the grid on the bottom because the lift is gonna get replaced later today. So I wanna stay productive until then uh, and also take advantage of much of this shadow as I can since I'm facing west and the sun's coming over it. Sketch in there as good as I possibly can with the ladder. Uh, the lift isn't coming until tomorrow now, apparently, but still in a good spot. And I, I've still got a little bit of shade left until the sun passes over. So I'm thinking I can probably paint most of the bird or the main part of the bird. I guess it's all the bird. Right? <laughs>
at day three. Feeling really good about today. Just once that lift gets here, everything's gonna get so much better. There's still plenty for me to do right now on the ground, and even if I had had the lift, I'd still have to do this from the ground anyway, so, but feeling good, weather's good, good shade, gotta get into it. The lift is here. Oh, this is so great. It's the best thing to see coming around the back corner here. All right, let's get this thing off the truck and get moving. I was in the groove painting those feathers at the bottom. I wanted to get those totally finished. And at the same time, Jake could be using the lift and putting the tape grid up to the top so we could get the rest of the sketch in place. Got the face in there really well before it started to rain. I uh, got some of the feathers going too. This storm is super wild. Yeah. All right, the storm totally passed. Still got a few more hours of daylight, so see if I can finish up as much of the feathers as possible. Out here super early today because I'm in the shade for morning half of the day and then um, then it gets almost way too hot so I want to use as much of that time as possible wasn't sure what to expect using smog armor paint for the first time everything about it I love especially the packaging these bags make it so much easier I use nine gallons of paint on this mural which is roughly the co2 reduction power of three adult trees Now that I'm making great progress with the lift, we ran into a new issue with it. The lift is so wide that it's not able to fit in front of these palm trees, so I can't get to the far side of the building. But because of the sun, Fabio Onrak, who is painting out front of the building, takes a big break around this time. So I walked over there and he was able to let me borrow the lift, but we had to drive it all the way around to get it to my spot to get it to work. But when the mural is wet, the people don't have an idea this kind of problems happen. No. Yeah, it's mad. He just did it. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> it's very easy for him. <laughs> Made really good use of that extra lift. That was really the lifesaver that I needed. Um, and I totally finished that whole thing, rendered all this stuff with spray paint. So that kind of sets the tone for the rest of it. So now I'm gonna finish up all the rest of the feathers and hopefully tomorrow just only be using spray paint and make it come alive. Should be the final day getting down to the last touches gonna shade everything around it really bring it to life wasn't totally sure how to do it so just called up my buddy steven teller who gave me a rundown on like the certain things to think about that i don't really know about of how to bring out warm colors with the cool to make a, a stronger contrast and more body to it still always learning as i go and hopefully i can apply these things correctly but even if i get half of what steven's able to tell me i think it'll be 10 times better than what i was planning on so gonna get in there now hopefully finish at least the shading of the feathers before the sun's kind of attacking the wall so then we'll just have the main part of the bird and the face to go and that shouldn't take really too much time at all
took a little break to have some fun over here with uh, with Robert and Fabio. Show time. <laughs> Gonna put the finishing touches on it now. Bring out, bring out everything in the body and those back feathers, which I think are gonna change everything to it, and, um, and do some justice for that family of peacocks that walks around this neighborhood that a bunch of people have told me about as they've been coming through. I had no idea beforehand, but that just makes it so much more meaningful. So. All done this I, I feel like I'm about to collapse this has been such an insane week out in the Sun non-stop but all absolutely worth it um, this is really I feel like such a, a big step up from even what I was doing months ago every part of it is like so many different things coming together principal Felton I cannot say enough about how amazing of a project this was to be a part of bring this creativity and life to your school even though everyone just started remotely so whenever it is safe to come back you know, I'm so happy to, to have given this to the community here and hopefully hopefully I do it justice and hopefully the kids are excited. Yeah, this was I'm done. <laughs>